popular science magazine is out with its ninth annual list of the greatest inventions of the year. The winners could soon be as close as your kitchen and a patch on your arm. Jennifer Bogo is the executive editor of Popular Science. Jennifer, good morning. Good morning. Um, how do you make these picks? Well, we're really looking for independent, scrappy inventions, things that are typically made in someone's basement or in a maker shop. And we look for inventions that solve real-world problems. We have an open submissions form, and then we have researchers comb through hundreds of potential candidates. The first invention is a pollution monitor. So how does that work? Well, air pollution is actually the planet's single biggest health risk, and some inventors created a device called ZOA that's actually wearable, so you can clip it onto your belt or your bag, and it will measure air pollution wherever you go. That can be great if, for example, you're trying to figure out the safest route for running and the best time of day for exercise, or to be walking your child that's outside. That's a good idea, yeah. And the second was is the patch. Yes, this is... This is actually a way to deliver vaccines that doesn't break the skin. It's mm. basically like a Band-Aid. You apply it to your arm, and someone, a graduate student, has figured out how to deliver vaccine molecules that normally the skin couldn't absorb. So you just put it on your skin, leave it for a day or so, and you're vaccinated. So, so what, kind of, this, what kind of vaccines? This will be good news for Gail King. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and old kids. Yeah. Right, and the beauty of not having needles is, is that you don't have biohazardous waste. It doesn't need to be uh, refrigerated for 10 weeks, and so you could distribute it, for example, to places like Africa, where you need to vaccinate a lot of people quickly, or it could be great for parents who have children with skittish, or uh, children who are skittish because of needles. Mm -hmm. And, and they've the used it for, I'm sorry, they've used it for pertussis and the flu. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this thing about cooking. <laughs> what is yes. this? So when we first saw this, we thought, do we really need a smart frying pan, something with the brains to think and communicate? And uh, then we realized it's actually a really neat solution to a widespread problem. This started with a college student who had no idea how to cook. What's the widespread problem? Well, people don't know how to cook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> these guys got together and made a pan that can actually walk you through that process and teach you the basics. Okay. So we're going to do, it's called Pantelligent. We're going to mm. do a demonstration. Oh, Dry cleaning pickup today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, multitasking as we were discussing earlier. You can pick a recipe. In this case, we're just going to. So you're turning the pan on or turning it up through your phone. Um, the pan is on the heat now, and it's got heat sensors in the bottom that measure the temperature. And it communicates via Bluetooth with this smartphone. Okay. And so the smartphone can read what the pan's doing. Okay. And so I've just chosen a recipe, fried eggs. Mm -hmm. And we're scrolling down. It tells you the, the ingredients you need and some things to remember. And we're just going to say start cooking. We're going to choose over medium. Mm -hmm. Okay. And really? You don't want to do over easy? I'm an over medium person. Okay. And so we, now it's trying to read, it's trying to communicate with the pan to make sure that, um, that yeah. the pan knows it's here. And that's the Bluetooth is sort of in Let's the handle. Let's crack the egg. Let's, um... Yeah. Well, you know, but I, I imagine there's other, you know, but I kind of worry if people don't know how to make an egg, that there's something larger <laughs> <laughs> at stake well, here. Well, and, so. and really, you know, I, mean, I did too. But I mean it. I mean, you know, I'm not a great cook, and I'm married to a chef, but I know how to make it. Okay, Fry so, it's, it. so now it, it's, it's telling you right good. Now, by the way. Yeah, it will tell you. There's actually a voice activation, and it will talk to you if you want it to. We turned off the and voice. The uh, and it'll tell you when uh -oh. the pan is too hot, so. We're actually going to turn this off so we don't create a fire hazard. Yeah. But it's, you can see the temperature, um, and it's telling you a reminder, don't forget to put oil in the pan, flip the egg. Yeah, there's definitely oh oil in the pan so right it'll now. Yeah, it'll cue you at every step. So I'm sorry, so, so the, mm -hmm. pa the pan actually has a Wi-Fi signal on it, so it's telling you the actual temperature of the pan. It can read the temperature of the pan, and it'll prompt you for each step of recipe. There are other recipes it'll, that are far more complicated. Tell you what else to do. And the idea is that uh, it'll make that. you more familiar with cooking so that you're more prone to use whole foods and you don't run out and get takeout all the time. I, can't I think this, this is a problem that only <laughs> affects people in New York it. because the it's deeply troubling you that you would need to <laughs> That might be overcooked a little, <laughs> a little bit. I mean, thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer, yes, thank you yeah. so much. You can welcome. see all the winners in the May issue of Popular Science on sale now.